Run Saber is stronger for the Super NES. Okay, I'm stretching a bit, but there's no exaggerating. Run Saber is 2D hack and slash platforming and addictive old school fun fused together, bringing out great qualities its kind has to offer. Lightsabers, screw attacks, ninja skills, shinobi bombs, beautiful levels, stellar soundtrack, mutants, menacing bosses, and more. Sure, it takes its pages from Strider, but it's great 16-bit fun. Now, unless you play Ninja Gaiden or Strider, maneuvering your cyborg friends can get tricky at times. I'll admit, controls were a bit awkward for me at first. My biggest problem was latching onto a hanging beam or ceiling, but always performing my screw attacks for some reason and keep missing my chance. My mistake was pressing both up and jump buttons, when jump button does the job by itself. I chalk it up to gaming habits, but it's a minor setback as the game gives you every advantage to hone your skills with a good learning curve, so it's easy to pick up in no time. But because of this, it will be unforgiving at times, and balances the whole control aspect. An experiment goes horribly awry. Mutants by the millions rise up, plunging the earth into darkness. It's up to Run Saber to stop their plans for world domination. But you can't have a great monster mashing without great techno music, and Run Saber hardly falls far. Sure, it doesn't hold a candle to Zelda, Mario, and the like, but has a catchy beat and definitely deserves a listen in my opinion. Mutant Jets fire-breathing dinosaurs and scientists with guns in their heads? I miss stuff like this. Minuscule, yes, but subtle creativity goes a long way in my book. I wish more developers took imaginative leaps like with Atlas's other titles. Question, what's better than one super cool ninja robot with built-in lightsaber action? How about two? Oh yeah, co-op. Nothing's better than playing a game with a friend who's got your back. You'll need all the help you can, because these bosses are mean, big, and many just the way I like them. As good as Run Saber is, there's one glaring detail that overshadows the entire game. It's too freaking easy! Critics have said developers didn't program the bosses hard enough. I believe that's half true. This is the rare case of developers making the good guys too powerful. Super Bombs smother the perfect build of our heroes and kills any difficulty boss fights reward. It's just bombs, bombs, hack, die, and bombs galore. Just proves without hard as hell enemies, the whole thing becomes unbalanced. Take the bombs out of the formula and you got a moderately difficult game right there. Granted not worth the original $60 price tag or $10 eBay purchase, but $5 for one of Atlas's early titles is a good deal. Run Saber isn't revolutionary or groundbreaking, it's still an addictively enjoyable game. Mind-blowing gameplay, perfect controls, and catchy soundtrack should satisfy any fan of the 16-bit variety, and makes it a great game in my opinion. Plus, the Contra Trist just sweetens the deal more. Just don't fight over who gets to be the chick. Now, if you excuse me, I got some mutants to slash. See you later. Mother-